got to educate people about energy. I hate to say it, but most folks still think it comes from a plug in the wall. The round table is focused on access to energy. 20% of the world's population lack access to uh, electricity. Energy security. You just can't foresee the kind of conflict that's going to evolve if we don't find a way to get electricity to all of the citizens of this planet. And environmental stewardship. If too much carbon dioxide is emitted to the atmosphere, prosperity will be threatened by climate change. This forum was specifically focused on coal. Coal and fossil fuels are a mainstay. The point of the round table really was to take a look at the Kemper CCS project in Mississippi. It's a large uh, gasification project that Southern Company has taken on. In the process, they will be capturing CO2 that would be coming off of the gasifier, and that CO2 will be used to produce oil in some of the fields that have since been abandoned. CCS is the only technology that can help mitigate CO2 emissions from fossil fuels at a large scale. So it's important not only to address CO2 emissions from coal, but also natural gas and industrial sources as well. Some people have advocated we use one kind of energy, renewable, which might be solar and wind, or use natural gas because it's generally clean. But the smarter people are saying we need to keep diversification, we need to maintain the infrastructure we have today. What you want to do is you want to have a system that operates no matter what the future looks like. Surely the price of natural gas can go up. Surely there can be shortages in oil. Anybody that understands investment knows diversity is a good thing. We can go down a road that natural gas is our only fossil option, or we can go down a road where we try to preserve the options. You should not consider the source of the energy, you should consider its climate performance. So it shouldn't be coal and natural gas, it should be what's its carbon footprint per kilowatt hour. What's being done in Mississippi has such application for other countries around the globe. China, uh, in terms of uh, the statistics, is consuming as much coal as the rest of the world combined. Uh, India, as we know, is poised to overtake uh, the United States. And it's incredibly impressive that they've perfected a way to burn low-rank coal, which is half the coal in the world. Burning low-rank coal with the same low carbon footprint as high-rank coal and equivalent to natural gas. The projection is some 65% of greenhouse gas emissions will be reduced. The burden of leadership of the U.S. has always been that its investments and policies that seem to be very U.S.-centric have a massive implication globally. A lot of things are said about Mississippi, but very seldom do you hear the word innovators included in that. It is the scientists and the diplomats that make the deal. And they deserve a tremendous amount of credit, but it is always the engineers that come up with the actual solutions. I'm very excited about uh, people seeing us for who we are, innovators in energy and other production. The rate increases are going to be somewhere near what they were when they opened the last plant down in Gulfport. It's not exorbitant. It, I'm a rate payer. I'm very excited about what we're doing in Kemper. We have a lot of jobs as a result, and paying a little bit extra for electricity is not going to be an issue with me, nor is it an issue with most of the people I represent. It, it's going to pay dividends down the road. I would agree with all the things that I've heard said so far. The diversity matters. The price could matter. The opportunity is real, the technology exists, the jobs are part of the picture. Those are all the positives. And on the other side, the skepticism is clear, the rate of change has been much too slow, and the investment, notwithstanding substantial funds provided by governments, the price has not come down to the point where it can compete yet effectively with alternatives. When we have the opportunity to invest, do we have the fortitude to invest in innovation? Imagine if you were to pause in carbon sequestration for 10 years and then you were given two and a half years to accomplish it. How would that feel inside a company? It'd be chaos, there'd be trillions of dollars, there'd be lots of mistakes. Knowledge sharing is extremely important and the first of a kind demonstrations like Kemper 
will provide that learning curve to bring down that cost that allows us to do things better, faster, and cheaper for the future. The people in this room have a lot of power to influence the decisions. So it's not very often that there could be 50 people that could change the course of human history in a positive way for climate protection. I think it's fortunate that we have a utility with the engineering capability to solve the problem that's ready to accept that technology and show to the world that Mississippi can be a leader in clean technology.